We fire up. There it is. Welcome home, Bitcoin truth seekers. It is that day. It is Valentine's Day. Friday, February 14th, 2020. It is 7.44 a.m. here in the Arizona desert. Okay, it's Valentine's Day. Bitcoin is looking good. But I understand, guys. You can be feeling like this on Valentine's Day. Sometimes you're like, you're like, oh gosh, I can't do anything right. Oh, today is so hard. Urgh. A lot of guys don't like Valentine's Day that much because if you don't get it right, you blow it. All your good efforts all year come down to this one day. And if you don't get it just right, you're going to be looking at this. Grrr. Anyway, here's the deal. Tell that special person that you love them. And you know what? Buy some extra flowers and leave them on the hood of somebody's car in the parking lot. Just do it. Insanely kind act today. To, for someone who did not expect it, maybe somebody who can really use it, and you'll find it really helps get over this feeling like that. So, with that said, let's rock. All right, tethering the Bitcoin last 24 hours, 3.07 billion. That is wonderful. Tethering the Bitcoin has been off the chart every last 24 hours recently, and it's wonderful. So, 2020 is definitely starting with Tether rocking into Bitcoin like a Lambo to the moon. All right, volume last 24 hours, a billion, or one billion and 12 million. Wonderful volume, this is rocking. Where was half of that? Binance. So, let's check out the sentiment on Binance as far as longs versus shorts go. Long, 63%, shorts, 36%. That is rocking. And I thought I'd look at, at the whole market kind of this morning, like the big players as far as longs versus shorts. Um, Bitfinex, 80% long, shorts, 19. Uh, Bitmex, 61% longs, 38% uh, shorts. And then once again, longs on uh, Binance, 63 and shorts at 36%. So really, we definitely have a as it says here at Blockchain Whispers, a Bitcoin sentiment of positive today across the board. All right, let's take a brief look at the uh, China 50. That's kind of like uh, China's S&P 500. All right, if we look, MACD is positive. Obviously, we had this tremendous dump here in the daily, but look at that. We are challenging the 200 moving average. This is good. I think this uh, China 50 might, as long as news continues to be somewhat positive at least, may get above this print moving average and start moving up again. It was working on a very powerful, beautiful heartbeat on the way up here until unfortunate events happened, but it does appear that it is recovering. Now, with that said, since the American markets are open, let's look at them real quick. Let's look at the big indexes. Dow Jones Industrial Average on the daily positive. MACD, it's continuing to move up, although yesterday was a red candle and today is starting red, but the day is young. S&P 500, let's look at that. All right, yesterday was a green candle. Today is starting as a red, but today is still young. MACD is positive. So, American markets are doing really, really well. Let's look at the Russell 2000, the little guys. And as we can see, uh, yesterday was a green candle. Today is starting red, but the MACD is positive, and we are working on a powerful uptrend. Now, to Bitcoin. All right, Bitcoin on the daily. Well, as we zoom out here in the daily, we can see this beautiful upwards channel that we have going on yesterday closed as a red candle today's been red so far but the day is young macd is positive although the tangent has turned negative on the daily we'll have to see how this goes looking at bitcoin on the four hour look at that beautiful uptrend and we're above the 200 moving average which is the white moving average here directional index is beautifully positive this morning um, so on the four hour bitcoin has a beautiful upwards momentum Looking at the 45 minute chart for immediate price action. I'm going to go back here. I'm, gonna, I'm using the uh, VPVR. I'm going to go back to about you know February 5th where we first see this break of the 200 moving average and this uptrend began, even though we had this dump here in the middle. With that said, look at this beautiful uptrend we've got going on. Yes, we kind of, if we do draw a trend line here from the original break above the 200, if we go up, definitely you can kind of see you know a big channel that we've got going here and I'm not really worried unless we get you know below this channel in the 45 minute and we get below the 200 moving average here and the 314 moving average but really even if we blew these important moving averages on the uh, short time frame look at this beautiful support and resistance we have in the chart and 
by sell volume at around 9,800. So I think the worst case, if we had a real dump, I think 98 is going to catch us, 9,800 that is, and that would be a bounce point. But really, we're building beautiful BPVR volume around 10,200, 10,300. So the longer we stay there, the more buy sell volume we create, the more of a support resistance it becomes, as we can see down here at around 9,800. So beautiful uptrend, things are looking good. Let's see how it plays out. Looking at alts, just one alt for one moment here on the 45 minute chart. This is ENJ against uh, Bitcoin. As you can see, a lot of alts are doing that, doing exactly this right now. They're on this short time frame, they're rocking along the 45 minute chart. I mean, this is a 45 minute chart. The alt is rocking along, kind of playing above and below the 200 moving average. Now, some of what you're seeing here is uh, from blockchain education. This is our some of our methodology here. But if we look, these uh, little purple squares, this is where we break above the 200 moving average. And so you can see we're collecting these little breaks above the 200 moving average, which are very, very positive. And we're breaking above again this morning. So look at that, volume's increasing. Uh, the virtual index is starting to go positive. The SAR indicator is green. You're gonna see a lot of alts doing this. So if you're playing alts, you know, watch this short time frame, this 45 minute, and you're gonna see, and also the hour works just fine too. As you notice, when a coin starts to, or I'll just make a suggestion, when a coin starts to play with the moving average like this, and the moving average is sideways or slightly uptrending especially, this one is sideways, that usually means it's working on making a little bit of a move. So. As you can see, ENJ is starting to get frisky here. It's starting to get these nice bounces above the tenor moving average. So these uh, diamonds here, are when you break above the 200 moving average and the 314 moving average in a very short time frame, that triggers these. And as you can see, ENJ here, you know, when it does get when it does get frisky and make a nice move above that 200 moving average, you can see it can really run. Well, it got you know the. Uh, uh, Super Guppy EMAs all turned red and it got below the 200 moving average and has been for a while, but it is working on pushing above that and making a run. Now, I'm not making a call here or anything. I just want to point out that uh, with Bitcoin being strong right now, uh, a lot of alts are looking like this. So, is it alt season? Well, you know, that term always bugs me because some alts are always pumping and some are dumping. What I would say, my version of alt season, is when you see things like this, where Bitcoin is strong, it's somewhat consistent, and you can see that a good number of alts are easy to find that are setting up like this. So I would say alt season means there's a good number of alts that you can hop in for to gain a few percent above Bitcoin, sometimes a lot of percent above Bitcoin. So is it alt season? Well, maybe. I would say it definitely is time well, for me at least, and if you're a member of Blockchain Education, we are finding alts that are rocking, we're hopping in, and we are making money. So, I'm a member of Blockchain Education. I'd love to see you there. I'm Cowboy Craig in the chat. Click a link in the description, and you can see a video about that tells you more about Blockchain Education. Join, come make money in 2020. We are, so I'd love to see you there. With that said, obstacles can't stop you, weather can't stop you, heartbreak can't stop you, Failure cannot stop you. Only you can stop you. Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day cannot even stop you. With that said, Bitcoin is about more than a daily price action, you know, and Valentine's Day is about more than just flowers. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're part of the peaceful revolution. I'll see you again tomorrow.